leap of faith and jump right into travel nursing, you need to hear this. Warning, you may not be paid. If I should laugh or I should cry. Worked in Oregon, Colorado, travel agency, don't pay. We're going to talk about it. And I just heard from another friend. She's just trying to be smart. Maybe the money is going to China. We'll see. Let's discuss it. Stay tuned. For this company nurses medical EMT everyone and I'm going to break it down how one person is getting paid but before I start thank you for stopping by thank you for your support those of you have, who have been with me for the long haul, thank you again. And for my new subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you wanted to continue to hear for me to bring information to you, just hit the bell twice and make sure it says all, and you will be notified when my video comes out. Let's start. So I went on Facebook. I don't go on it that much, but I was on it for a while during the pandemic. And one company keep coming up. And they said they weren't paying their nurses. Now you may say, Patrice, if you heard all these nurses said they not getting paid and you decided you want to go there to work. Yes, I did. Because sometimes what I find over the years that your friend, I'm giving you an example, well, let me make it more personal. Sometime I would tell my friends about a, uh, an assignment, paying, good paying assignment. And they would go sometime they would discourage me from going back in the days when I was that person that you seem like you could ma manipulate. And you thinking that this is the thing they say, all money is no, is not good money. But then when you go there, I usually follow my heart and go there, you see the same person who try to discourage you. So I never really listened to I mean, I listen, but I like to see for myself. And so there was, in Facebook, everybody's talking about joking help, joking help, Dan Dietrich, joking help, they don't pay their nurses, you know, joking help solution. So I decided to investigate. The opportunity came December 2021. I was supposed to go to Oregon for Jogan Health. But it so happened that situation at home and for the first time for the holiday, I wanted to be home. So the timing wasn't right. For you know, in crisis, you have to be able to jump when they say jump. And so it would conflict when I had already arranged to have a lot of things going on in my house, family coming. So I didn't go then. And then I started to hear more about, um, they didn't pay their nurses, and for matter it was in the news in Colorado, allegedly that they didn't pay their nurses. I don't know, it's just, it's in the news, doesn't mean it's, I guess it means that it's factual. But I'm going to tell you my experience with Jogan 
health solution. So I heard all these negative and there was one comment on the Facebook post. One nurse, she was an RN, she said, I'm getting my pay. And all the negative people say, oh, you, you just um, you just saying that because you do this and you escaping or you doing it, you jumping or you praising the agency, whatever. She was the only one saying she getting paid, right? Everyone else wasn't getting their paycheck. So the second opportunity came for me to go work for Jogan Health Solution. They called me and I reached out to the recruiter. She wanted me to go and I was willing to go this time. And then before I was going, she, I got a call that it was canceled. The site facility decided to change their mind. So I didn't get to go. And during that time we talked, I talked with a lot of people and a lot of nurses and they say, oh, they're not gonna go with them because they don't pay their bills and they don't pay their nurses. My third opportunity, February, I decided to take a chance. I'm the only one take that chance. And my friend said, you crazy, Patrice. Why are you going to go work for an agency that don't pay you? I believe in my heart. I already made my decision. You can't change my mind. But I have already set myself. I got my ticket home. I have money to pay bills. If I get there and it, they start acting up, I'm ready to go if I don't get my paycheck. So this is what I did. They paid for my ticket. When those other two times, they weren't paying for tickets. I guess they need nurses now. They paid for my ticket to come to Oregon. The first thing I did, and I did some research before I got there, and I find out the CEO, the owner is Dan Dietrich. I hope I pronounced your name right. And I got on, I have his number, his personal number. Don't ask me how I get it because I'm not going to reveal it. And when I did hear from some nurses working there that they didn't, it's true, they didn't get their pay. The first thing I did as I hit the ground was call Dan, the CEO, and say, I'm an RN coming to work for you. I understand the situation. And back and forth, I told him how I felt. I need to get my paycheck and blah, 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 blah. You know what? how it, in a professional manner, I didn't come off any angry or anything. And he, I text him and he texts me back. And it was early in the morning. I, I just be anxious when it comes to things like that because I couldn't get into the computer to put the paycheck, to pay, I-9, whatever they want information. And that would stall the pay. And I don't want any complication. So I reach out to him. And he made it, he told me, Contrary to what I believe or what the media say, the staff did get paid. Okay. Okay. So I'll see. And I told him, I want to change that mindset. A lot of people saying they didn't get paid on Facebook. They're saying it all over. As a matter of fact, Jogan Health Solution removed those comments from the nurses. They're also in the strike um, of the foreman, forum talking about it. And I don't see it no more, but it was there. Anyway, I told him, I want to change that mindset. I want to be able to be the one that tell the nurse, yes, if I get paid, then they will get paid. 
Next thing I know, the next day, the vice president of human resource that deals with the paycheck called me and said, Miss Foster, you're going to get your pay. And this is what you need to do because I couldn't get in the computer and they helped me. It was something that the CEO said to me, and he is Asian. And I think during the crisis, we hear of a lot of agency. And I guess that's when they decided, oh, maybe we need to do nursing. I felt like after talking with Dan Dietrich, the owner of Jogan Health Solution, that he said something to me that kind of click, that he's in transition to get in-house human resource. And for average nurse wouldn't understand what that means. But when he said that, I know that before, when you start now with your agency and you get in contract, you wouldn't want to get contract in a nursing home because nursing home don't pay their bills unless they are attached to a hospital. Like Temple University has a long-term care facility, then that would be a good contract to have if you wanted to do if you're on an agency and you wanted um, to have a nursing home on your profile, it doesn't, it's not free. It comes with a percent out of your paycheck. And I'm saying paycheck or the CEO money. So that's probably where all the confusion. But I want you to know something, even though we hear that maybe they get 45 millions or 240 million doesn't mean that the CEO of the company get all that money. First of all, the money doesn't go straight to him. The money goes straight to the funding company because they already put up the money for the nurses or the medical staff and they take the percent. And by the time you see the money because they're going to charge you up. They, it's, it's like, but what they do is they do background check. That's a percent and everything else. And you may feel like you're, when I was doing it, the nurses were getting paid. The medical staff was getting paid, but as an owner, you feel like every like they take over and you didn't have any control over your business anymore. That's my negative about the funding company because they have the say in everything. You only get to use a funding company. You only they only come to help you when you have big contracts. They don't come to you when you have nursing home because they know you won't get your money and it will be constantly trying to hustle the nursing home for your money. So if you have like the government contract in this situation, state contract, those are people that's going to pay. Hospitals, they will seek you out. Savings account, so that's self-funding payroll and what a staffing funding company is and I'm reading it it's a payroll funding is a means of infusing cash into the staffing firm with working capital so you could have capital if not you can't possibly be having all that money unless you're wealthy you're going to use your money to fund the payroll and so the funding company, which is, so yes and no, the nurses that didn't get paid from the perspective of 
speaking to the CEO, he said eventually they got their pay or something like that. What I find at when I worked there, I got my paid every week. I didn't have any situation. As a matter of fact, the communication to me wasn't breakdown. Dan Dietrich was in, they have what they call groups, and he was monitoring that. That's a lot of travel staff and agency or Jogan Health Solution, Little Dirty Secret is behind the scene. There is a bigger dog or bigger support, which is the funding factoring. You might hear these words. I'm not sure if you actually hear it because they're not going to talk those kind of talk to you. I just kind of look out, kind of know what is going on behind the scenes. So in the beginning, the confusion was maybe they didn't have a funding company in the beginning and the contract was a lot of money changing hand and sometimes the owner may be too overwhelmed. But when I got there, it seems like everything was in order. Pay every Friday. As a matter of fact, Thursday night, you get your paycheck. Every week, I had no problems. I didn't have to call them. The only negative, or it wasn't really, yeah, it was a minor negative. The con to when going back home, which I just got back home, I had to pay for my own ticket. But I was prepared for that. But they had told me that I was going to get my ticket going back home, but I, I guess due to the downside, they say, I don't know. I just, it just didn't work out that way. Another negative that a lot of nurse was saying, and for me, thank God I was in a situation. My, ho my hotel wasn't far from my location, so I only pay seventeen dollars. You have to pay your own transportation to the hotel. There were some nurses on the group saying that, and it's legit because I met them. They pay like a hundred dollars. Some people pay two hundred dollars to get to their hotel, and I was feeling kind of way because. Here's some CNAs. What if they didn't have the money and they coming into a situation, you jelly, I guess you rent a car or you know up front, really, if you knew up front, you would get yourself together. And this is a situation, nurses, don't ever get in a situation like that. I always have something, always have your credit card, always have some money so that when you're in a situation like that, they didn't know that, they didn't tell me that either, that I had to pay for transportation. Thank you, I only pay $17. But for those that pay all that money and no reimbursement, they don't reimburse you for that. So that was my only hiccup, I would say. I would, would I work for them again? Yes, I would. If they call me today, I would go. Because I had a great experience. And you might say I got that great experience. Yes, because I make sure put situation in place. I contact the CEO. Don't do that. Be cautious. Don't do that. There's other ways. And I'll tell you what you got to do. You make sure you get no upfront when you get there. Everything about your paycheck. When you're going to. Don't listen to other nurse. Listen to the people involved when i couldn't reach anyone i'm not because they have what you call an on-site personnel go to the human resource that they have if you have to email it because these people wasn't picking up any phone so a lot of nurses said they were calling payroll nobody answered so when i got there i make sure everybody answer to me because I need to make a decision real quick. And I met this two nurses 
And they said they came in from New Mexico because they had that contract too. Came in from New Mexico. They claim allegedly they did not get paid. And I'm saying in my mind, if you did not get paid and now you here, so you've been six weeks in the company, I find it hard to believe that you would stay in the system and not get paid. So I don't understand that because I told, and that's what I told the nurse. I said, you ain't that loyal, honey. And also, you don't want never, never play catch up on your money because they will never get it together. I told her that on the elevator. You telling me you came in from New Mexico and you didn't get paid. And now you're here in Oregon with me and you still didn't get paid. I don't understand that. It's not making sense to me. It's not. Because I'm not staying that long. That's like six weeks. And you didn't get paid? Go on. Tell that to somebody else. That's all I got to say. That's all I have to say. Have a wonderful day or night in your state or your country. Thank you.